That's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! You need the guy. Oh? And what will that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get it tonight? <laughs> need to be on that truck oh. before it goes. So, you're gonna miss. How much for it? Not for sale. Excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Oh. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal.
I don't have a choice. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabtazon. I'm in the middle of something. It can wait. Y uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Shift ends in an hour. Okay. Uh, I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. Oh, shit. No. Thing. Great timing. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. Yeah. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? <laughs> How long you been with the movement? Long enough. It's been with herself since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. To join the real
Safe. Lotus. Not what I was picturing. There was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? I've got you. You're late, Fraser. I see you too. Holy shit! They took out the fussy one! Stop them! What was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. Do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on. I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. So bad. Now what? Patience. Up here. Really? Really. Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? No. We're moving away from Assault's Den. Yeah, we're taking the long way. Now I'll see why you're always <gasps> late. Cobra 1 to Cobra 5, over. Received Cobra 1. to now. Up. Ah. Ah. 
Okay. We avoid crates from now on. Okay, good deal. What was that? Shit. I swear I heard something. There's some cheap office supplies if you want them. You always this talkative on the job. Yeah. We'll just take a moment. <laughs> oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Goddess of well. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. I'll just borrow this. Fraser. Mm hmm Come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Hoysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that Shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? 
mean, this, this isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser, collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. Oh, after them! On me! Through the window! Now you're talking! Oh, shit! Come on! We need to get across the river! Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess a little bit can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! Come on! Right behind you!
are we going out there? On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. It rubbed off. You must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is this her Salah? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Amazing landscape. Down there? Yep. Still here. Great. Just checking. Here. Give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoy Salar exhibition. I've never even heard of the Hoy Salar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. 
young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to help the cut, and then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Hey, look! Flamingo Convention! Refreshing. Could have warned me. Well, oh, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. Oil the head. Go down. Oh, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. What have we got? Halabadu and Valour. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Valour. Well, the stonework is beautiful, but this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. <laughs> right. That should no, do the brothers. trick. Fraser, move. It's an ambush. Shit. Take cover. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Take them. He's done. Okay, we're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian rules. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Whoa, what? Yeah. They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Made it. Stop. A soft. Well, well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Any word from Cobra One? Here goes nothing.
down. We have company. Spread out and look. Maybe later. We're clear. Just like I planned. Let's get going. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asab, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. You won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. He gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like... Oh, where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but... Uh... Someone should keep watch for ourselves forces. Good call.
easy does it. <laughs> so far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. Let's see what's behind the bow door. Another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. button before climbing up. <coughs> well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. understood the appeal of people like Saab. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How do you get tangled up with the Saab anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh... Do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the bit... Oh, hold on. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? I feel like stretching my legs. Rightio.
What is this place? You got me. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. I don't see a way across. Neither do I. What have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. They filled one of the spots on the map. Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. This going to help us get the task? Ah, don't think so, but... Extra cash. Right. Come on, let's get back to it. Like I was saying, besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Wait a sec. Look there. One of us off's trucks. Looks clear out here. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Matches the symbol in the tower. Shiva. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes. But maybe not in the way you're from. So not blowing things up. Oh, definitely. It should do the trick. Okay. Going, going. Yeah. Let's get inside. Did you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. In we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Ah! Oh, no, no, no! Oh! <coughs> you alright, Fraser? <coughs> yep, fine. Come on down.
They've left their climbing gear. <laughs> they should come in handy. <clears throat> Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit. Statue moved again. Careful. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols on. A star and rings. They're all voice alarms. But I like your descriptions better. Well, looky here. 
What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient hoistelar jigsaw puzzle? Of course. I'm making an axe. Nice to see you, Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysala Rampa was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go... Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with a bow in the lake bed, and that fort sporting the trident above the waterfalls. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. <laughs> to that. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Be careful. The Sov's men might be around. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama. Parashurama? Parash. 
Shurama. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome boy. Right. So wrapping my head around it all. Coming. Copy that. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, yeah. even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. <laughs> ah! oh, shit! Nadine, move! <laughs> That's it. We're clear. Probably alluded to the other. There! On the mountain! Here come the others. Clear. Huh? Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over assault. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Considered. Hang on. Shit. What was that? Oh, oh shit. Hey, They've made hey, it. Hey, We've got this. Are we clear? Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Huh. 
Perfect. That should do it. Definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh. <laughs> There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. And look at that. Bana Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. This is open now. Just the one by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty, let's go.
watch it. I think Asov's men have that sight too. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secure? Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra Let's 8. Just keep this quiet as long as we can. I see them! Interfering. Cut them down. That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spurs yeah. on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. One left. <laughs> Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on. 
Let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Could there be water? And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this old treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a solve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, though. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought them Maurice. You're no fun. this time. You handled yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. <laughs> Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short controlled burst means. All right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Here we go. Shall we? Right behind you. Suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoysala certainly did have a knack for stonework. 
And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Shall we dance? Try not to break it this way. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. Come on. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. <laughs> Their work still stands, but they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. the stairs down. What's left of them, anyway. Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Bum. Then I guess we're climbing. Across. Oh. Okay. Ready? Look 
for a way up. There, look, you can see some structures beneath the falls. You know what? Time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Yeah, I've got you. All right, I can manage. Just accept my help. But only because you said, please. I didn't, actually. What you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him to He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. I've ever done. In a good way or bad way? I'll let you know. They're doing great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Sard yet. Not one would. Like he's around. Dalton will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we could swing over to the crown. Just a little far. Oh, 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 thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. No. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it.
us our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. <laughs> wow, nice shot. The Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia, like a normal person. Ready? After you. Yeah. Incredible. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Ganesh isn't even armed. I guess it's not really his style. barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Here. Hey, look, armaments. You were right, Nadine. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Oh, nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama Chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the X? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. Hush. It's messed up. That's family. 
Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. All right, that's a little piece of way from me. Hey, it's shadow moved. Through. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows match the mural. Great. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. I think that's it. You did it. Doors open. All in a day's work. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. What the Shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. We're at the edge, quick! Huge waterfall here. There was. What the hell is that? 
Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. <sighs> you know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> No, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. All right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Fraser, come on. Don't have time to play Marco Polo. <laughs> what? You all right? So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. Do you think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Yeah, making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Right. Didn't you give it up that. easily. I take right? Yeah. I take <laughs> Thanks for that. But I'll have it under control. Yeah, but I can't let you have all the fun. Right. Sorted. So tough, eh? Come <laughs> on. 
We're not in the line of fire. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Up here. Think there's a way through. <coughs> Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Hear that? I do. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. People, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you.
Fraser, hey. Mm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh, can I just say... You were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. He was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Need to take it easy for a bit. <laughs> Up here. Go slow. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Ah, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. <sighs> and to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. This is what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. Well, Nandy's not too far.
Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. Slow down. Slow down. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. like it. Oh, oh, oh shit. Get down, get down. Holy oh, shit, is that the date? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. Need to get to her. now. Where are you?
That's it. We're clear. You need a hand? There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start, and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority is the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? <laughs> exactly what it sounded like. Kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step boil. You don't care. You hear that? Now I do. Don't mind us. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. some of this? Here you go. Huh. One more.
Look, I am... Um... I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was on to something big. <laughs> he was always on to something big. But bandits raided his camp and um, local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So... Listen, Fraser, you don't have to... Ah! It's a doing. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant. Look at it. Ah. <laughs> no wonder she was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. Oh, just keep your distance. They've got a call from them. Right. Here, I'll take this one. Oh, okay, thanks. Move over a little. That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. Wow, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. <laughs> nice of a sav to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. <laughs> up here. Yeah. <laughs> 
stairs. I see light through the water. Hello, Balua. <gasps> you know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just... Totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. It was gunfire. Brothers, we may have...
Right. Back to it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa, up there. It's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. Now we know why. another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. Damn it! They've blown the entrance. There must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up! We need to get up to the other store. I see him. Huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Oh, well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this?
در میزیه سمتنگ بگه آراید آه ایدی مند ستیبت باست در تل می ای سیده یو سیف ای وانده تکیب یو سیف Sav get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. <laughs> but how do we get over there? Come on, it's deep enough. Okay. We're going first, eh? You're welcome. Hi. You all right? Sorry, I just need to get my head back in the game and I... Hey! Hey, Dean Ross! Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, smart ass. That's our way back in. Got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here.
Oh. Whole place is done. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. <clears throat> Okay. Be easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Why are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? <sighs> what on earth is this place? Throne room, place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit, I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those crates around the chamber. Hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Oh. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Now the crank up ahead. back now. Dead. I'll be right down. Ah, ah, slippery. Uh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, I've got this one. Bringing down Shiva's drum. Uh oh, this one's like the trident. Time to move. the drum. I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. Hang on. Uh, 
And now we turn the water on for this side. And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh. Shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. Light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Okay, can you be a statue again? something so I can put this down no wait for it what's happening I can't see from over here just uh, hold still for just a sec all this water it's a cleansing ritual what's happening oh you can put down the mirror now oh, shit. they found us get you ready shit <laughs>
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find out, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't!
Shiva and Parashurama. Don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes!
logs. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> Don't! Think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did soft get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Still very to soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. The Sov will have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in a Sov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. The Sov the cage you. Almost never talk shop in front of me. I can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoist a lot crap. Hoist a lot. Yeah, the two. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. No, it's either British or Portuguese. 1800s, they're not quite modern. Okay, you there? My machete. Uh, little help? No problem. Go ahead. You first. Much obliged. Wow. Do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. <laughs> oh, damn, you were joking. I never joke about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your own, but. One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. <laughs> Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I can do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got it. He 
see anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? <laughs> this should work. <laughs> huh. Nice. <clears throat> Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Oh, you're too kind. No. She's just worried I'll kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, sorta. Of. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. A little precarious. Yeah. Great, I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Up? Don't move! Ow, come on, hey! I said don't move. <coughs> Unbelievable. <coughs> hey, ow, ow, ow. Hey, too coy. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. Yeah, yeah, just leave the rope for me, please. There. Might cut it through to the tricks. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up. Okay. <clears throat> What is this place? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... What? That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure, why? What the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these... Hey, Sam. Sam? Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just... She said she was cool! No! Whoa! Did you like Yeah! Don't stop for you! Following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from shore. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. 
Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. Razor, you go first. Thanks. How are you doing in there? Good. We're nearly to the rail yard. Shouldn't be long now. Three. Nearly to the rail yard. Guards, ball, she's alive. <laughs> hey, Dean, she's over here. Are you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Hey, Dean, do you see way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. <sighs> Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. Jesus. Not quickly. It looks sturdy enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard us off talk about Shoreline? Swear to God. All I heard from his men was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain. They were looking for outside help. The soul of the desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline would take money for heading. <laughs> Forget it. It's true. Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. <laughs> through though. Oh, right. I'll stop now. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm 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 okay with this, sure. Ready when you are. <laughs> oh, have you ever noticed? Oh shit! Sorry! <laughs> Great. Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> okay, Sam. 
What do you got? I have found a crate. Of course you did. Here, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right. Good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your br the noodle. It's a saying. As in your brain? That is not what I pictured. There was a compliment. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Switcheroo. You two are doing just great down there. Okay, ready. You got it. Turn, Miss Ross. Don't call me that. Yeah, well, it's professional courtesy. Well, in that case, call me ma'am. <laughs> oh, hey, I guess I missed that. Sam, you can use my rope. Go ahead. Yeah. You can use mine. Huh? I'm part of the rope club. I'm honored. This just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We... <laughs> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's Asav. With... <sighs> Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. And there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We're out of plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Safety's off, chappies. No word from our lookout, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Miss Ross. Roger that. Oh, great. The chopper's airborne. No. Now stick around to clean house first. Let's bring that sucker down.
Doing a damn thing. Profitable, for starters. I think that was a rhetorical question, love. I should have shot you back on that godforsaken island. I wish you had. It would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run. Power to just hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two. Partners. <laughs> Either you've got a piss-poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. Cat. <clears throat> Gun! Nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. Yeah. All right. Mind if you see that first? 
Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well? You're splitting, Clarissa. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. Wait on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A salve. Traded the tusk. For a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I'm... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What? You're not going to leave me back there with her. Out. No. I call shotgun. Fine. I'll sit in the back. on your road then. Hey Sam, do you want to drive? I mean, kind Too of. Too bad. Buckle up, buttercup. Whoa! Let this isn't my car. He'll be all right. Didn't know you cared. Uh, he's got the tusk. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? 
Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. Shit. Nowhere to climb. Over here. Mind your step. Yep. Let's try the other side. Whoa, easy now. Okay, good. Making progress. Somebody's here! Assault cars! Well, we still have the element of surprise. This is crazy. We should just let them die. There's no way they can... Surprise! Have them That's here! That's not what I meant! Take it all over! Okay, this is really dangerous.
Sweeter, when we bollocks it all up. I think we're almost there. Why, Budge? Let me help. No, oh, this is really heavy. Go. I got it. Okay. Your turn. Uh, oh, it's way bigger in person. It's a military grade, all right. Here, yeah. help me. It's too heavy. You can't disarm it? It'd detonate if I tried. All right, plan B then. Let's get to the engine. You coming? Okay, you go. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely the engine. We can slide this way. Come on. No. No, no, no! Oh. I welded it shut. Shit. Hey, roof hatch. Think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Uh. <sighs> any luck? Uh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Uh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. A switch! What? Up ahead, a switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train via some time. All right, that's good. We need a ride. Go! Get to the switch! Oh shit, today! 
Boys, just can't leave well enough alone. Don't have much time. <laughs> Holy hell! Sam! Hey, Sam! Where is he going? Holy shit! Hey! <laughs> How's tricks? We need to switch the train to another track! Sam! Sam! Uh, where's Nadine? Back on the train. We have to flip the switch. Jackasses! Can you give us a minute? Go, 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 go! Shit! Train's getting closer! That's it! We're clear! Alright, back to the switch! Gosh! Come on, come on, come on! That's it! to get to her. Wait, 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 wait. We have to? I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Oh, shit! Shit! God damn it! Go! I'll keep him in the bank. Okay. get on board. Can't see any bridges or crossings. Well, shit. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit. Shit! <laughs> considered myself a patient man, but you two are a special breed of mongrel. Good. I'm really going to enjoy this. Come! Show me how it's done. <laughs> You'd risk your lives, and for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. Take your shot! Not you to this be good, Asad! This is my land! What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb! I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. <laughs> Let's finish this. 
Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Oh, shit. And you! It ain't! Now I'm coming! Slow it down! Get up! Gotta get up! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh! I know you! You're no hero! My war will destabilize the government! The sheep will need their shepherd! I will die a thousand deaths before I let you win! Oh shit! Friendly reminder, the bridge! Shut up and fight! Let's finish this! You piece of shit! You've ruined everything! Everything! My cleansing would have been beautiful! Why didn't you just die? get out of that you know I'm just still figuring that out myself and uh Asav went down with his train oh, well couldn't have happened to a nicer guy oh. Oh, you look at that <laughs> wow <laughs> We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. I don't know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner. Right. Not you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're fi Ow! Okay. Jesus. Well, a cigarette. 
<laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Mm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> the Ministry of Culture. Oh my God, you're serious.